Hello, it's Valerie from Shellbrook Handcrafted Soap in Nova Scotia. And um, it already posted a video on one way I do hot process in the crock pot. And today I'd like to show you another way I do hot process. And um, we'll, I'll show you when we go from there. My husband's just going to mount the video on top of the uh, video stand. Thank you. Okay, so um, how I'm going to do this today is a two pound soap and uh, my oils are heated to about 178 and my lye is at about uh, 180 and I'm going to strain my lye and uh, we'll mix this up. This is a uh, strawberry tapioca soap I'm doing. I'm just trying to uh, keep up with the purchases. So what I'm going to do is uh, just make a two pound soap today. We're soaping uh, at really high temperatures, so I would encourage anybody that is soaping at high temperatures to make sure you wear the proper safety gear and to be extremely careful because uh, it can be pretty dangerous if you're not watching what you're doing. Can you pass me my coconut milk? My hu husband's helping me again and uh, I'm going to add some hot coconut milk to this. This has stearic acid in it, and uh, you can see it's getting pretty thick right away. So uh, that's a real thick trace. I'm going to take that out and cover this up. See how thick that is. And I'm just going to cover that up with some plastic wrap. I'm going to put uh, heated up a dish towel in the microwave. Just said it would just provide a bit more warmth going around the bowl. You don't have to do this, I don't think, but uh, this is what I've been doing. And I'm just going to time that for three minutes. So there's many different ways you can make hot process. And uh, with all the millions of soapers in the world, and probably there's at least half of them that aren't even on Facebook, it'd be interesting to see the many different ways you can make soap. Uh, I would encourage everyone to make soap that you are comfortable with and that you enjoy making because there's no no right or wrong technique or method uh, just to make sure you follow the safety rules and just remember even if the soap isn't at high temperatures that you have to be careful with it because the lye can burn you. So that uh, Oils were about about 175, 178. I would have liked to actually have them a bit higher. And the lye was around 180, 183. Because uh, I gave a little introduction there first, and then my husband had to put that video camera back on the stand. So I'm always going to keep an eye on this because uh, in the past I've learned that it can volcano pretty quickly. And I've certainly had my share of messes, that's for sure, <laughs> by not watching. <laughs> Some of them pretty bad. I, I had one time, it just uh, turned my back and it came up and just, wow, all over the bowl and everything. You can see right now that that's already starting to rise. Okay, so you want to make sure you can get to it pretty fast. You see it's volcaning. 
volcanoing and I'm just going to stir that down. Sometimes it can separate on you. This, this can get to real quite a high temperature. And there's oatmeal in this, so uh, it's possible this will separate. That's about uh, 217 Fahrenheit. So I'm just going to whisk that up just a bit more. Cover that up again. Actually, it looks like it might be separating a bit there. We'll see. So I'll cover that up again and uh, we'll time it for how many minutes was that? About uh, That was about two minutes and 30 seconds. So I'm just gonna cover that up again and we'll time it for three minutes this time see if it goes the three minutes. You can see some of the oils are separating there, but that's all right. We'll whisk those in. I'll usually do this, or sometimes I'll use the microwave for small batches, and sometimes I'll just use a small crock pot, however I'm feeling. But um, I haven't cooked on top of the stove yet, or I did it once in the oven, I think. So there's many, many different ways, and uh, each person, each individual soaper needs to find their comfortable, their comfortable little niche in how they do it. Uh, faster isn't always better, by any means, and uh, you can lose a lot of moisture in the soap. So you can, there's ways to combat that with saving some of your liquid for afterwards. What I have found, and, and everybody, your formula can play a really big part on, uh, how the soap will cook, or how long it takes, or how quick it's done as well. If you have uh, a lot of soft oils versus hard oils, or in reverse of that, a lot of hard oils versus soft oils. And this might take five minutes this time. Actually, I don't know if the video camera can catch this down below, but you can see that um, right down the very bottom of that glass dish, you can see that working. I don't know if you can catch that. Can you see that on there, hon? Good to go? Okay. So in this formula, I have uh, I used water and some aloe vera juice for my lye liquid and I put coconut milk in and I put oatmeal, cooked and strained oatmeal and uh, I have uh, an ounce of apple cider vinegar to put in after the cook as well as Greek yogurt, sodium lactate, a little bit of tapioca, some sugar water and maple syrup and then the fragrance oil which is strawberry about 1.5 ounces of strawberry and 0.5 of rice flour shea. There's also some kale and clay in there. There's avocado butter and cocoa butter, almond oil, canola, castor, coconut, palm kernel flakes, palm oil, stearic acid, and some beef tallow and olive oil. Okay, so the um, timer just went off. That was three minutes. I'm just going to take a peek at this and see what's happening. Okay, so after, um, that would be 5 minutes and 30 seconds, you can see that that's uh, 
applesauce potato stage, I would say. I'm just going to whisk that up a bit. So I'm just going to, that's like applesauce, potato, Vaseline, kind of. So I'm just going to cover that again for another three minutes. My husband's doing the timer for me there. So two minutes and 30 seconds, there's the first volcano, and I whisked that down, and I timed it another three minutes, and whisked it, and it was uh, potato, applesauce, Vaseline, a little bit, a tiny bit of applesauce by the time I finished, and uh, I actually can see it even there right now, uh, the Vaseline starting there. We'll see how this works after another three minutes and if it's hit Vaseline stage. I didn't take the temperature that time. It's probably not really that important. I just like to keep on all the experiments that I do and things that I do, I like to keep as good as notes as I can. So, uh, so what I hope to do with this formula today is to separate uh, it into a, a light green color and a light pink color and to have some dark green and some uh, dark pink red and a little bit of gold and uh, I'm going to try a different design today. I think I'll put like uh, split the mold and put half pink, half green and try to drop through if the recipe works the darker colors and then do a swirl, hanger swirl and see what happens. <laughs> Sewing videos can be pretty funny sometimes. Uh, I, I'm not a, probably really good at doing them, but I just like to share what I've learned and maybe it can help somebody else. I like learning from other people too. So, been soaping uh, over three and a, three, well, three years, it's about over three years right now, I guess. And uh, it never ceases to amaze me the different things that you can do and the different things that God has put in creation that you can use in your soaps and your natural soaps that are just incredibly wonderful. We're on this uh, little farm in Moser River, and I can, uh, where I'm soaping is I can look right out my back pasture, see my chickens out there. Okay, so three minutes is up, and uh, I'm just going to check this out, check the temperature out on it, and see how thick that is. So that's telling me that's about uh, 213 Fahrenheit. So I believe that looks to me like that's uh, that's thick Vaseline stage right there. So uh, what I'm going to do with that now? I'm just going to uh, add some hot sugar water and the hot apple cider vinegar. Just going to cover that back up until I get that out. 
So eight minutes and 30 seconds to thick Vaseline stage there. And of course your the stirring time, which I don't know actually how long that took. Boy, that steric acid uh, really gets mighty, mighty thick. Okay, so I'm just going to go to the stove and get the sugar. Sorry about that, I thought I had that in the hot soaping dish there, but I didn't. I'm just heating that up in the microwave a bit. My husband will check that and bring it over to me when it's nice and hot. And then I have uh, my sodium lactate here just at room temperature. I might just set that in the hot water a bit. I have my colors all ready to go and uh, all the ingredients ready and my containers are going to be filled with hot water and I have uh, some saran wrap to put or plastic wrap to put over those because uh, you want it to keep it as moist as you possibly can. I'm just going to wash my gloves off here. So you can see that that's all Vaseline and this is my uh, apple cider vinegar I put in this and my sugar water and it was really hot and then I'm going to put my coconut milk in and I'm always really careful when adding milks afterwards I'm, I'm sure everybody is because uh, I guess in this dish it doesn't really matter so much but um, in the crock pot, if you're not careful and the crock pot is still on warm or whatever, it can actually cook that if it if you don't get it stirred in good. Can you get me another piece of plastic wrap, sweetheart, so I can put that on top? probably don't really have to wait after this but I'm just gonna recover that and I'm gonna let that set one minute you don't really have to but I'm going to and then uh, after that one minute is up can you time one minute I'm going to add the um, the yogurt and the sodium lactate And at that time, I'll wait five minutes. I just find waiting five minutes after the yogurt uh, really is beneficial for that some of that yogurt to convert to sodium lactate and make a looser soap. And then I'll add um, maple syrup and the tapioca and the fragrance, and we'll go from there. I know it can be pretty boring watching videos when it goes on, but hopefully this will be all right. I'm going to add the yogurt and the sodium lactate.
You can use whatever kind of yogurt you like. I like to use plain. You want to make sure it gets stirred up really good because uh, you don't want any little bits of yogurt to cook in there. I have maple syrup and I'm actually going to add that right now too. This was done at 38% uh, lilac wood, and I don't discount the tablespoons of water that I mix with my sugar or what I mix my colors with. I don't discount the sodium lactate and I don't discount the yogurt or the maple syrup. See, that's pretty loose there right now. And I'll cover that up again. And in five minutes, I'll be back. And I'm just going to get my husband to turn that camera off now so you don't have to wait that five minutes just looking at a bowl. Hello. It's been five minutes. And I checked the pH on this, and the pH is a 10. And uh, I like to have it at a 10. Sometimes it can be higher. And um, so I'm going to just lighten this just a bit more with some titanium dioxide. And then I'm going to add my tapioca powder. And I don't add tapioca to all of them, but this soap is called strawberry tapioca. And uh, I find it does make a silkiness in the soap. And I'm going to add my fragrance oil as well. I'm just going to go get a spatula here. So I have my cups full of hot water. And sometimes that fragrance oil does thicken things up. And so does tapioca powder. So I'll just mix this up. I'm going to separate it and try my design. Uh, my husband's going to help me here and I'm going to do the big ones first. Actually, I'm going to do the little ones first, sorry. cover those over until I get it all dished out. When I have it all dished out, then I'll color those. Thank you. 
bit of apple green for the light green. soft pink. These micas happen to be from Steph's micas. Here's gold. I'm just going to add just a tiny bit of yellow gold in there. bit of jungle green and apple green. So trying to get a little bit darker accented green in there. And that's not coming out quite as dark as I'd like so uh, I have some emerald green. I should have used more. Um, this is an emerald gel I got from Sapphire Blue that a bit darker I think. I would have mixed up more but I want you to wait any longer than you have to. <laughs> you can fast forward. <laughs> this is a little bit of gel, ruby, ruby rose and some strawberry. Hoping that'll give me a enough to make an accent in that pink. All right. And I, I wanted to tell you, you know, sometimes your colors, sometimes they all, things will thicken up. And a, a neat little way that you can loosen them up a bit is that it'd be actually better if you kept them all in hot water. But you can add a teaspoon of boiling water to it and that'll loosen your okay so I'm just gonna free pour so I, you never know what'll happen but <laughs> just hoping I can do a good job on this free pour
So I got my hanger over there, and uh, as soon as I get this finished up, I'm going to try to do some sort of swirl in it. Probably just a simple, basic hanger swirl. Doesn't look too attractive, but I'll do a swirl and finish that off. So. Okay, I'm just gonna bang it on the floor. I believe I'm just going to do just a basic up and down motion, maybe like a figure eight a bit. And then I'll do an S from the bottom up. An S type anyway. That's pretty, it's actually really loose. And um, See, that's a pretty, pretty red. All right, strawberry tapioca, and in about six hours, I'll cut it, and I'll post those pictures as well. Thank you for your time, thank you for your patience, and thank you for watching. From Valerie at Shellbrook Handcrafted Soap in Nova Scotia.